good people and thank you for joining me for another video here on the SVG2 YouTube channel. I am Phaedra Dion, owner and lead educator here at SVG2. And as you saw from the intro, we are going to be taking a file from Cricut Design Space, turning it into a PDF, and then taking it into Photopea to make it into an SVG that we can use anywhere else we like. So let's get started. I'm in Cricut Design Space and about four months ago, I made a cut file for Hustle Mode On. And when I made this file, this top font was free and now it's not free. So if I hide this and go here and choose Attach and Make It, you will see that I now have to pay $4.99 because of this top font. And I don't want to pay $4.99. So what I decided to do was just make a whole nother file. So I am going to detach and I am going to hide this one and bring up this one. So I actually think this is kind of cool with the script font and then the block font and then the button. So this is going to be my new file that I export from Cricut Design Space. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach it and then I'm going to make it. So now I'm going to click on continue and I'm going to click send to printer. And then at this point, I'm not going to pick a physical printer. I'm going to click the uh, drop down on the printer and I'm going to choose Adobe PDF. And it doesn't matter whether I have a bleed or not, I'm going to click print. And then what's going to happen is it's going to allow me to save this as a PDF. Hustle mode on, and then I'll just name it SVG because it's going to save it as a PDF. And then I'll save it and it'll do its thing here. And then once it's saved, I'll be able to open it up in Acrobat and see my PDF. So I'll close Acrobat. I can cancel what's going on here because I'm done with Cricut Design Space. And then I want to go to Photopea. Now, when you open Photopea, you may have ads over here. I am using the Brave browser and by default it blocks ads. Uh, so that's why I'm not seeing any ads over here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, open that PDF on my computer. Or what I can do is I can just drag it from my computer to my workspace. And I am working from three monitors. So I'm bringing this in from a different monitor and I'm just going to drop this in. And now what I want to do is I want to turn this and I want to turn my canvas. Right now, when I brought this in as a PDF, it converted it to a PSD. So I am going to click on this as the bitmap and then edit and free transform. And then I'm going to start turning it, but I'm going to hold down shift as I turn so I know that it'll be straight. And then I'm going to click on the check uh, mark to confirm or commit to it. And then what I can do is I can get rid of this top layer and this bottom layer. So I'm going to pick it up and drag it to my trash can. I'm going to pick this one up and drag it to my trash can. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to file a new and I'll put in 1600 by 1300 and I'll change my dots per inch from 72 pixels to 300 because I want it to be print quality 72 pixels per inch is for screen and then I'll click create. Then what I'll do is I'll go back over to my first file. I'll right click and choose duplicate into the new project and I'll click OK. And then I'll click and I'm in the new project. I'll make sure I have the move tool selected. I will move when I see the crosshairs. I know that it's centered and then I'll get rid of the background layer. I'll just delete it because I want it to be 
transparent. Then what I'll do is I'll go to my eraser tool and I'll choose magic eraser. I'll right click on the bitmap layer and I'll rasterize it. I have to do that step so that I can use my magic eraser to get rid of the gray area. And I have to click in these areas where the gray still exists to clean it up. So I'll click here, 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 and then here and here. Now, you may like the lines at the top and the bottom, but I want to get rid of those. I don't want those lines there. So I am going to go back to the magic eraser and I'm going to just get the eraser tool and I am going to erase this line. And then I'll erase the line below. And notice how small my brush is, my erasure brush is. I can make it bigger by tapping the square bracket on my keyboard. And then I'll know that I got everything above and below the line also. Now what I need to do is go to File, Export As, SVG. And I will give this a name. So hustle mode on SVG and I'll put final on here. And I'm putting dashes between each word because I want it to be a complete string of characters. Leave add raster graphics checked and then click save. And now I have an SVG. So I'll click save, and if I double click on the SVG, it'll open up in a browser. And this is what I have to work with for any project I want to use it on. And it's gonna have a transparent background, so I can use it in other places. I can also save this as a PNG. So I can go to file, save as PNG, that's in case I have a project where I can't use an SVG and I'll still have my transparent background. And that is how you do it from Cricut Design Space to a PDF to an SVG or a PNG. So if you have questions, leave me a comment. If you have comments, leave me a comment. If you need help, leave me a comment. And thank you so very much for watching.